Good morning, New Horizon. It's Pastor Mark out in the backyard on a beautiful morning. Hope you're enjoying some of this. Yay, God. Listen, I've been thinking about something for some time here, and I just thought I'd do a video so I could see you face to face and say it. So this COVID thing, it just continues. Now, I thought, maybe you thought too, that perhaps by now there'd be some lightening up, etc. And what we're seeing is some lockdowns further, you know, isn't that weird? And so here are my observations on that. Think about this with me. I think by now we recognize that we're in this for the long haul. And that means we've just kind of got to put up with it. And so all of us have learned ways of doing that. We all carry a mask everywhere we go and you put it on before you go in the store. It's just the way it is. There's things we can't do anymore and we regret all that. We're finding some workarounds. Well, here's the thing. We're just making the most of it. We're just making the best of it. That's what it's come to. So instead of just waiting it out, we're making the most of it. Well, that's our in-person worship stuff. And so last Sunday was our third, tomorrow will be our fourth, and we certainly encourage you to be with us if you are comfortable in doing that. It's weird, it's weird, it's not church. I mean, we're all wearing masks, it's different than it was. But let me tell you, each week it seems to get sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And last week was just really blessed and we believe tomorrow will be too. And one reason is that we're just making the most out of it, that's it. No, it's not perfect, no, not at all. It's not what it used to be but we're making the most out of it. And in fact, our scripture from Colossians last week, it said, do everything you do is unto the Lord, bringing glory to God the Father through Jesus Christ. So it's, no, not, not what we would wish it would be, but it's something. And so I think our attitudes are changing and we're simply recognizing this may be the way it is for a while. So let's make the most of it. So I encourage you to click the link below and, and sign up for worship tomorrow and successive Sundays. Come on, let's just make the most of it. And here's the second reason I think it's getting better is because I have just been so convicted by God that we are in need of worship today like never before. It's our connection with God to go the distance. It's how we maintain an attitude. It's how we don't lose our mind. It's how we, how we kind of keep sanity when things are difficult. We need to become better worshipers. We need to develop better worship habits. And I'm not saying you're bad, you know, none of us are bad. It's just that, hey, we're in a different day and worship is so critical. So let's worship, and we're doing our level best to design services that either in person or online, they really are times of connecting with God, connecting with one another, and downloading God's grace. So I think that's making it a better deal too. So I just wanna put before you New Horizon, as we continue to do what we do with all of our hearts, let's do it for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Love you all, I miss you terribly, terribly. And I'm with you as we pray through this thing, as we walk it out, as we look to our God. I know our God has us. I know he does. And friends, I, I beg you, let's go the distance for the glory of Jesus. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.